The videos on Come Again TV are not made for kids. Anyone under the age of 13, get your parents' permission before watching. Some videos may contain graphic or lewd content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon. I'm Tammy. And today on the show, we're going to be doing a roundtable topic discussion. We're supposed to have more people here, but John, you guys know how John is, and a few of the others weren't able to make it. So uh, that's why there's this computer in the background. We were supposed to video call John, and well, you know, last minute issues. So today, the to one of the topics for discussion today, uh, this is going to be a multi-part series. We're going to spend at least 15 minutes on each topic, and okay. we're going to publish them one each week for the next few weeks. So the first topic, I'll let you choose which topic we're going to Deadpool do. Deadpool versus Lobo. Deadpool versus Lobo. Okay. So first, tell me about uh, Deadpool's power set. Uh, healing factor, and he just totally rocks. What more do you need? <laughs> He's the merc with the mouth. Okay, and he loves right. chimichangas. Loves them, yeah. <laughs> All right. Can't get those? Grab some tacos. Yeah. And do you know Lobo's power set? Uh, healing factor. Healing I'm factor. I'm really Marvel over DC. <laughs> He's Major also got, healing factor. He's also got superhuman strength, uh, genius level intellect, at least when it comes to chaos, or things with destructive purposes and that would be John <laughs> let me check this real quick oh no it's not John it's Jared I'll tell him bring his ass up on some video chat uh, he can't at the <laughs> moment doing in-law stuff <laughs> well, okay let's see here When you can, video call me. All right. <laughs> it's going to do that the whole time. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. so, two things that Lobo and Deadpool are pretty equal at are their healing factors. They both can pretty much resurrect themselves from a puddle of blood. Right. From a drop of blood, really. Um, I think where Lobo has Deadpool beat is his genius level intellect, though. Yeah, but what Deadpool doesn't have an in intellect, he makes up in just a pure skill set and just being able to pull shit out of his ass. <laughs> literally, literally. <laughs> right? Now, <laughs> if. What if there was a, Lobo did a surprise attack on Deadpool? He's got that space motorcycle, that space chopper. And if he comes down from outer space and just flies by, grabs Deadpool by the seat of his pants, and then throws him into the sun. Well, he'll probably melt a little and then come back and punch him off with his bike. <laughs> we are talking about Deadpool. Isn't there like a unicorn involved? It's on all the t-shirts. <sighs> Deadpool doesn't have an actual <laughs> unicorn. No, he likes his scooter better. Yeah. So. yeah. Uh, pretty much he'll regenerate because Thanos turned him immortal so he can't go hang out with Death, so he would come back. That's true. He'd probably die about 18 times, at least, on his way back from the sun, but he will make a comeback. And sorry, guys, for the outside noise. We are right off the main street, so but it's getting later at night, so the noise should cut down. Now, here's the thing with Lobo, though. He's exactly the same way. Right. He cannot die. No. He, d he died once. He went to hell. Hell didn't want him anymore. So hell sent him to heaven. Heaven found him too damn annoying and sent him back down to earth. And so they cut off his ability to die. Right. Oh, Deadpool also can't die. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below. Who do you think would win, Deadpool or Lobo? Now, Lobo also has that chain that has the hook at the end. He can just drive by on his hog, hook Deadpool in the mouth so he can't talk, 
<laughs> and just drag him through space. Can you imagine how mad that's going to make Deadpool exactly. not be able to talk? <laughs> exactly. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of swords that come out, not to mention about 18 guns. So. Yeah. Yeah. Resor- he's definitely resourceful. <laughs> yeah, he is resourceful, but, you know. That'll get Lobo in the end. <laughs> Lobo's motorcycle is so powerful, and he can make it as fast as he wants. He could just fly through space you at really warp speed. You think Deadpool wouldn't be enjoying that ride? Yeah, he didn't enjoy it. <laughs> but Eventually, he's going to have to get some gas in that motorcycle. They're going to stop. Not necessarily. Like I said, Lobo's got that genius-level intellect. Uh-huh. He could have built the motorcycle. To Geniuses get bored. They do. He'll stop. He'll get bored. <laughs> then they'll actually have to fight. Then what? Okay. If they fight, how? what will Deadpool's first move be? I'll probably shoot him in the head. And Lobo's going to just stand right back up and smile at him. Definitely. <laughs> That's the plan. <laughs> That's where it gets he'll violent. Probably, he'll probably have a cigar in his hand and uh, maybe... Uh, light it on the bullet. Okay, I do see some Wolverine comments coming out as soon as the cigar goes. That, that, yeah. In fact, that Deadpool, if he can run his mouth the whole time, pretty much might get Lobo to kill himself. Oh, but then we'd have like 900 little Lobos round and around. Exactly. There was a story where Lobo, he went to this planet and basically wiped out everybody on the planet because... He, that was his home planet. or some, Yeah, something like that. He yeah. got blown up or something. It was just a puddle of blood. And billions of lo- <laughs> Lobos regenerated from a single drop of the blood. And he completely... Eradicated everyone. And they, they fought till just one Lobo remained. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, therefore, when there's one little Lobo left, that's when you stop... <laughs> and no more Lobos. More Lobos. Now, <laughs> out of that, though, once you stop the last Lobo, of course, more are going to show up. Correct. So. That leads me to Deadpool's powers. We know that Deadpool can regenerate from a drop of his own blood. Mm-hmm. Now, he's been cut in half so many times and has had to regenerate the lower half of his body or an arm or whatever multiple times. How does that work with the bo- part of his body that got severed? Yeah, Will I just it, wonder if there's extra little Deadpools running around. A tiny little... Could you imagine parts? an army of Deadpools and an army of Lobos running at each other? Yes. It would be epic. <laughs> Make that a movie. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, we need some DC Marvel crossovers. Yeah, we do. All we right, really Disney, do. just buy them all. Get this shit rolling. Yeah. So. Yeah, we do. So, now, that leads me to when the Amalgam comics came out. Why didn't they just merge Lobo and Deadpool? Too much power. Then again, you got one Rock and Mystic. They can totally take them out of existence. So you really do need both of them. You gotta have at least one or the other. Right. I'm gonna say it's gonna end in a draw. Never. No? No, they would never stop. (laughs) They're both cursed with immortality it, because it, it of would Thanos be, and death, and then it would heaven be, and hell. It would so. be the immovable object versus the un, or the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Although I could totally see them chilling with some chimichangas and scars, also. Now, what if they just joined forces? Ooh. Earth would be in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially since Lobo has that red power ring now. Oh, God, they gave him a power ring? Yeah. Because he needed that? Yeah. He needed a little boost? <laughs> he never uses it, but he's got it in his back pocket just in case. Oh, it'll be his engagement ring when he finds his, you know, true psycho. Wouldn't that be Deadpool? He does have a thing for rings. And where de- he keeps them as an issue. And but... Deadpool is um, pansexual. I don't think he was very comfortable with that. <laughs> So, do you think Lobo's pansexual? No, actually, with Deadpool, because they have the alternate reality ones, they do have the chick Deadpool. That's true. Who do you think 
Harley Quinn would go with? Would she go with Lobo or would she go with Deadpool? I think Deadpool. Why? Attitude. Lobo's got attitude. Yeah, but he's more gruff about it, whereas Deadpool is more mouthy. She would have more fun with Deadpool. Oh no. But he might actually rein her in a bit. He might not be psycho enough. I think it would be one of those have your cake and eat it too type things. Mm-hmm. She she could she would marry Deadpool and have Lobo on the side. Well, it is Holly Quinn, so yeah. well, actually, um, she was pretty loyal to Joker, so she would have yeah, to choose. Not really. She had that thing with Poison Ivy. Well, that was a chick. That's like a you know. <laughs> For everyone's amusement, so. Not to mention she had Deadshot on the side, too. <laughs> yeah, Marvel here, not DC. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> I am not caught up on my Harley Quinn, it turns <laughs> out. <laughs> All right. So, there has to be a winner and a loser between Lobo and Deadpool. It's I, a hard choice. It, it is. Really it's a is. very hard choice. So, whichever one you choose, I'm choosing the other. Even if I chose Deadpool? Yep. Oh, <laughs> wow. Hmm. <laughs> no, when I, yeah, when I was looking into it, I was like, uh, this this is a rough one. And I'm a total Deadpool fan. Right. So, huh. that one is just really hard to decide on. Yeah. I'm going to say <laughs> that it'd be the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. They would go at it for eternity. Mm-hmm. Even... After all of the existence is wiped out, they will continue until... Now, which one could go longer without, like, sunlight or anything like that? Because if they go... I mean, the sun's going to go out before the planet does. Well, we already know that Lobo spends his time in space, so he doesn't need to be around the sun. Right, so he's used to the cold. Right. So, he would probably just freeze Deadpool... And keep him as a statue. That would be fun. I mean, you see him just Could, like throwing things at him all the time. That and just sitting there on his motorcycle with his feet up, eating a chimichanga right in front of him. <laughs> Could you imagine that? I think the steam coming out of Deadpool's ears <laughs> might just thaw him out. It could happen. So Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. All right, let me get... Never ending. Let us know what you guys think. Lobo versus Deadpool, who wins? So that's it for this episode. Next time, we're going to talk about Can Wolverine Get Circumcised? (laughs) Tune in then, guys. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.